Yeah. <laughs> Dead, sir. It's on stand. Guys, someone yeah. smoke it, I dare you. <laughs> Do it, breathe it in, sir. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> I still smoke it. Do it again. Do it again. Smoke the arrow. You notice when I turn it on, look what happens to the current. It goes up and then it goes down. You're watching. You ready? I'm going to turn it on. It goes up and then it goes down. Why does it go down? And, more importantly, why does an electric motor just go faster and faster and faster and faster? Well, it's because of something called back EMF or back electromotive force. Let me explain. Here's a big sample motor, big DC motor, and when I connect the voltage, well, current flows through the coil depending on the size of the voltage. The higher the voltage, the greater the current. There's also a little bit of resistance which affects the current flow as well. So you can use Ohm's law, V equals IR, to work out what the current is. And so when I first turn on the motor, the current will flow. But then the motor starts spinning. And when the motor starts spinning, it starts acting as a generator. And it produces a voltage in the opposite direction which opposes the supply emit. And that's why the current goes back down. Now, if this was a perfect motor and there was no friction, no sound or anything like that, well then once the motor gets up to speed, the current flowing will actually drop to zero. Yeah, if this was a perfect motor, the motor would just... And that's because of Newton's first law. Once an object's in motion, it will stay in motion. It doesn't need a continual force to keep it going. But, let's have a look at this. To get the motor going, current slows down. I'm now going to slow the motor down physically with my hand and that will reduce the back EMF, and so the current will go up. We ready? Look at that! Look at that current going back up. In fact, whoa, the current goes up really high. I can get it going up to five amps, or way past five amps. Whew. And if you, have, if you have five amps of current flowing through the coil for a long period of time, that will heat up the coils. And eventually those coils will get so hot they'll cause smoke and it will burn out. So you never hold a motor in position because you actually need the back EMF to reduce the current. Don't believe me? Check out what we did. Oh no. We held this drill down. We held this drill down. <laughs> um, we clamped it to the table. We put on cable ties on the trigger so that the trigger was clamped on. And then we um, put a clamp on the um, end of the drill and we held the drill in place and then we turned the power on from the front of the room and that motor couldn't spin. And so it wasn't producing any back EMF. And so the, the current through the coils was very high for a long period of time. And as the current flows through the coils, it produces a lot of heat. And this is what happens. Smoke, smell. Oh no, this poor motor, don't you feel sorry for it? Anyway, I've taken out the screws. And um, that's what the inside of an electric drill looks like. And We've obviously got the gearing up here, we've got a high speed down to a, a low speed shaft. But more importantly, this area here is the motor. It's got the it's got what you, you sort of it's got what you sort of expect. Instead of permanent magnets, it's got electromagnets in the um, for the electromagnetic field. Um, and then on the inside of the motor, it's also got um, coils of wire, it's got a commutator, it's got a split ring commutator, and you know, although this, is, although this motor is plugged into an alternating current source, an AC source, this motor is what's called a universal motor. It will actually work on both direct current and alternating current. I kid you not. It's actually got quite a lot of torque, okay? It's got a big turning force. It's got carbon brushes, and so those carbon brushes um, push onto the commutator, and it's what, it's what you see sparking in a drill. That sparking is the commutators, the graphite pushing onto that commutator. Eventually, the graph, the eventually the carbon um, will wear out, and uh, you'll just have to throw it drill away because they're not replaceable. What you can see here is the heat from the current in the coil has caused, you know, excessive um, smoking and ash and melting, and the electricity now probably just can't flow through the coils properly. We've got what we call a burnt out motor. Ooh. I'll have to go get a new one from the shops. Thankfully they're quite cheap. Otherwise I might be in a bit of trouble from my boss. <laughs>